Okay, so this is my setup for um, actually taking the the videos. I set it to video on the device, but I also check that GPS is on, Instagram doesn't have to be on. All right, and then the actual setup on the car looks like this. I've got the camera up on the roof, three points, just. For my ease of mind, peace of mind, and then, and then that's how we go. I'm just going to start this. We're just going to take a short drive down the road. There's some issues with GPS points, whatever you know. The the first part and the last part may not be like the best, but there we go. As you can see, we've got the video now. That's all there really is to it for getting the the video on. From here, we go to get Dean's software, download it. Look at the README, looking for something specific here. Have a look at the special note. Okay, donation. I'm going to need $50 uh, as an occasional user. And that's done. We uh, extract everything now. I put my files into the GSV video folder. You can see there are two. We create a new folder. I call this the working directory or the working folder because I'm going to take shortcuts from Dean software and put it into the working folder. We select all the relevant EXEs. copy them and we paste the shortcuts it's really important to note that you're only pasting shortcuts from the Dean software into the working folder and only the EXEs that are relevant to the project that you're doing okay so now we have Dean software we can minimize that We've got our folder we are going to extract the gpx from it we're going to find the ins feed gpx and we're going to use the file with the, the file with the zero zeros in it drag it onto 
INS VT Tune PX. The first time it, uh, you use it, uh, it will have a Windows problem error. Run anyway. This won't come up the next time you run it. Okay, so it's got the GPX points and it's put it into a file in the same folder. Now we're going to create the MP4. So we're going to open the folder with the INSVs in it. Same folder. Once we have it here, we're just going to do some checks to see if we have good GPX data. The quick way to do it is to go to the stats and then select uh, some of the stats. You can see that the root has come up. That's good. And the total distance. That's also pretty good. All right, so we've got some stats. That's excellent. All right. At this point, we can put a logo on the bottom of the file. I've just got my logo up already. You can see it at the bottom there. Let's make it a little bit bigger. That looks okay. I don't mind so much that the car is in the way. Uh, to be fair, people don't look down. All right, time to extract it. It's going to extract it as a 360 video. All default options. Now we need to authenticate uh, our Google account. Same error. Follow the instructions. Select the account, give it the permissions. You can see that it's done there and it's been authorized. Once done, we take the GPX and the MP4 file. Drag it into the relevant file in the relevant shortcut. and it begins uploading. Once that's done, we can do a check. It will create a sequence ID file in the same folder. Grab the SID file and drag it onto the check shortcut. As you can see, oops, as you can see, we're dragging it on to the check shortcut and it will give it progress.